Hi, St. Paul. It's Pastor Mark. Every day of this Holy Week, I'm sharing with you this little devotion that says, if you were in Jerusalem of those days, what are the things you would have heard? What would you have known about? And if you've walked already this week, you know that on Sunday, if you were a resident in Jerusalem, you would have heard about, if you weren't even there yourself, about the triumphal entry of Jesus. You would have heard the commotion. You might have been one who said, what is going on? And you would have heard and said, what's going on there? And someone would have said, it's Jesus, it's Jesus. And all the crowds that were gaining momentum. And so on one hand, people were going, that was awesome. I remember Sunday. And on the other hand, people were going, who does he think he is? That was Sunday. Monday was the day of the cleansing of the temple. But when we say cleansing of the temple, that might be putting it softly. We mean Jesus turned things over. And on one hand, you might have been a favor of it. You would have said, what did he do? And someone would have said, yeah, the rich and the powerful and all the people who had all the money, he confronted them. And you would go, yeah, that's cool. But if you were on the other side, you would have been really going, who does he think he is? And would have been making you really mad right now. That was Monday and uh, Sunday and Monday. Now we come to Tuesday of Holy Week. Tuesday was a day of, of teaching, but teaching in a way that was conflict and controversy. You can follow in your, in your Bible. It was Matthew 21 all the way up through a huge part of Matthew 26. A whole bunch of chapters of Jesus teaching and rulers and authorities going, well, what about this? But what about this? So that morning, Jesus is heading into Jerusalem. And what we're simply told is in Matthew 21, Jesus, it says, he entered the temple courts. And while he was teaching, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him and said, by what authority are you doing these things? Who gave you this authority? Well, you can better believe they were trying to head him off. They were saying, we're not going to have a repeat of yesterday. And it's a question that continually circles around authority. Now, let me ask you this about authorities that you and I know. In a democracy, uh, and there's elections always going on, right? Do you ever get the feeling that people who are in authority or trying to get voted in, that they're only saying what people want to hear? Yeah, I definitely do too. But now let's flip it. Not what it says about them, but perhaps what that says about me and you. Do you ever get the feeling that you and I only listen to people who already agree what we have to say? That we don't have room for anybody who doesn't already agree with us? Maybe it's asking it very personally. How do you handle other people having authority in your life? Who in your life, honestly, who in your life do you allow to call you into question? And maybe more than that, how do you take it when they do? My guess is when you think through people who have authority, who you listen to, who you would submit and humble yourselves before, that the number of people who have authority over you, that that is a, a fairly small list. And that you don't easily take it all that well when someone checks you on things that you wanted to do but aren't right. Here's what happens at the end of the day on Tuesday. It's in chapter 26. Judas, one of his followers, decided that he finally had enough. And he goes to the other authorities and says, what will you give me if I hand him over to you? That's all what happens on Tuesday of Holy Week. But let me just ask this, what's going to happen on your Tuesday of Holy Week? Are there any places that you are walking in resistance to your God? Things that you shouldn't be doing, but you are. Or things that God would have you do, but you're, I don't know, holding back for any number of reasons. The invitation of today before the authority of your Savior is that it's time to repent. And when you and I repent, then we see our God clearly. We see him as the authority that he is. But then we also see that he's an authority who comes full of mercy, and full of grace. God grant you his blessing as you continue 
to walk under the gracious and merciful authority of your Savior this week. God bless.